So you have that problem where you just started the game and you want to capture every single monster but you don't really have enough traps and you don't really want to farm for them either. Well, if you have that problem, I have a solution for you. Let's get it. What's up guys? So when I just started the game, I wanted to capture every single monster um, to save time and to get certain materials. Um, now on one hand, I want to capture all the monsters, but on the other hand, I don't want to spend too much time on farming the traps. Um, so I went to look for a solution. Now first of all, there are two types of traps. There's shock traps and there's pitfall traps. Now pitfall traps, I don't really like to use them, just because they are a little bit expensive to make and they take way too long to activate after you place them. Uh, you can get them though in the Argosy for 200 points per net and in my opinion that's way too much. It's not something I want to spend my points on if you can get the shock traps for free. Now that leaves us with a shock trap and in order to craft a shock trap we need a trap tool and a thunderbug. Uh, you can farm the thunderbugs in the Argosy but I would rather have things like Mandragora or Blastnut or Nitro Shrooms. Basically things that I can't get easily in any other way. So instead of farming Thunderbugs in the Argosy, I'm going to show you what I did. The first thing you want to do is you want to put a trap tool in your inventory every single time you go into a quest. Now you can buy these fairly cheap in a shop, so that should be no problem. Now when you go into the quest, uh, we're gonna pick up a thunderbug before we fight the monster. Now what that's gonna do is when you pick up the thunderbug with a trap tool in your inventory, uh, the game will automatically craft a shock trap for you. Um, now this does have a little flaw, which is that there are no thunderbugs unfortunately in the sandy plains map. So whenever you have a quest in the sandy plains map, you will either have to kill the monster or you will have to take another trap with you. Um, now, I will demonstrate how this works first, and then after that, I will show you where you can get the Thunderbugs closest to camp in every single map other than the Sandy Plains. So as you can see here, we have a trap tool in our inventory, and whenever we're going to pick up this Thunderbug that's sitting on the tree, the game will craft a shock trap for us, as you can see here on the right side of the screen. Now that we know this, I'm gonna show you where you can get all of them, starting with Frost Islands. So now that we're in Frost Islands, you run straight from spawn. You jump down here, and on the second tree on the right side, you will see our first Thunderbug. Next up is Flooded Forest. Now the closest one here is at Sub Camp 1. And we're going to fly there and take the exit with the mining node, which is right here. As you can see, the mining node. And you see this big tree over here. We're going to use our wire bug to get there. And here you see on the right side, the thunder bug. Now, if you don't have this camp, or the monster is near the main camp uh, there is an alternative but it takes a little longer to get there um, if you are here go straight forward outside of camp let's take our dog it's a bit faster now you want to go straight forward until you go into that tunnel like thing and here on the lower part of the wall, you want to climb up. And then here on the third like branch, you'll see another thunder bug. Next, we have Shrine Ruins. We're going to go behind the camp. And there's a secret tunnel that is not shown on the map. And we're going to slide down a little bit. And here on the right side, you will see our next Thunderbug. 
And last but not least, we have the Lava Caverns. You go straight from camp, through this tunnel, through this little gap, and we're going to go up this wall until you see the two pillars. And on the right pillar, you will see our next Thunderbug. Now, there's another one at Camp 2, which is also very close, maybe even closer. And it is, if you fly here, it is on our right side, right here on the wall. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you could learn something from it and it will make your life easier in capturing monsters. Now, if you have any questions still, please let me know in the comments below. I will answer all of them. And if you like the video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing. Um, it really helps me out a lot. So anyways, as always, um, this video has been sponsored by no one. And I'll see you in the next one. LFG.